that axe. You might want to use it. She's been in the water for a few days. Not nice to be near. I'll cope. Bit of a dump to chose badly. Water wasn't deep enough. A trawler dredged her up. That thing will be eating prawns for a couple of weeks. How come we're only finding out about this now? Who was at the scene? Divisional Ds, uniforms did a full line search along both sides of the channel. Nothing there that would help you. I authorised the transportation of the body. It was naked when she was found. I'll check for identifying marks, but you can forget about fingerprints. It should be at the fingers, see? Drowned? No. I don't think I'll find water on the lungs. So she was dead before she was dropped in the ocean? Yes. And she'd been tortured. On the other arm, too, the breasts, neck, burns. Most likely cigar. He burned her, and she was in agony. Her arms and her breasts. If you want to have a look, there are similar wounds on the ankles as well. Hey, it's hard to get in at the goose. There are electrical things, um, cord plugs. Her name's Siobhan. Siobhan. And that's all I know. So they slashed her wrists? No, no, no. These splits are due to swelling. She was wired to those. I've just removed them. Heavy-duty pliers were used to cut the wire. I'll send them off, get a tool impression. If you can find the pliers, we can match them to the cut. I did find traces of plastic in her mouth. Someone's wrapped her face in some kind of cling wrap. She couldn't breathe. <laughs> She was gone. I didn't want to come here. I knew you'd think I was crazy. But you have to stop him. He's going to kill her. He's going to. Yes! It hasn't happened yet. But it's going to. Unless you do something. Detective. Detective. Are you right? Uh, yeah. You gonna throw it? <laughs> A psychic. Her name's Lila Sharm, and she described this torture murder to us four days ago. We just checked the notes on her statement. The exact details, Sarge. Suffocation, burns, being wired to something heavy. Special blocks, as it turned out. We don't deal with psychics. She even gave us a Christian name for the victim, Sarge. Siobhan. But we don't know the name of the deceased yet, do we? No. She but... could be anybody. And why would this Lila Sharman woman come in here and admit to knowledge of a murder if she was involved? Attack of the guilt? Or is she a witness that doesn't want to tell us how or why? Or maybe she really did have a vision. I'm just exploring the options. <laughs> Maddie, read the literature. These psychics may sometimes look the goods, but when it comes down to it, these cases are all solved by police work in the end. You were right to kick her out. Get her in here. See what she's got to say for herself. <clears throat> I'll check around the back. <laughs> Hello? Anyone home? <laughs> Hello, is anyone there? Please. Duncan, I think we've got sufficient cause for entry. Police? Miss Sharman? Is anyone home? Police! Two bedrooms, both empty. Yeah, there's dry blood on this broken glass here. A reading gone wrong, maybe. Well, why didn't she see it coming? <laughs> I'll call it in. We need to check the place for prints, treat it as a crime scene till we find out what happened. <laughs> Is she all right? Tell me she's all right. Sorry, but who are you? I'm a Rekha Shaman. Lala's my daughter. What's happened to her? Detective Senior Constable Ryan, why do you oh, think what? something's happened to your daughter? It, it's okay. She's not in there. We don't know where she is. She's dead. That's why you're here. Why <laughs> would you think that? There's been a death and she's in trouble. 
Anything from the water police or the divers? Zilch. Long shot anyway. And our young psychic has disappeared now, has she? Uh, her mum's on the way in. She says that she's going to bring a photo from home for us. So her mum's a psychic too. Mareka Shaman. Spiritual connections, readings, counselling. Yeah, she says the gift runs in the family. The gift? Oh, come on. The mother's spoken to the daughter. The daughter has given her the same hysterical blurb she gave you and Matt last week, and that is why she's worried about her. She says she turned up on instinct. So she hasn't spoken to her daughter in three years. And why is that? We've been estranged. Nearly three years. So that, that photo isn't exactly current. She's grown her hair now. Has she? That would suit her better. Still haven't answered my question. Why is it that you and your daughter haven't spoken in all this time? We had a falling out. I brought her up myself, Senior Sergeant, alone. Lila was fairly young when I realised she had the same sensitivities as me. Eventually, that led to friction. How? Basically, she hated not being able to get away with anything. I'd usually know if she tried. <laughs> Once she skipped school and went to the movies, and when the film was finished, I was outside waiting. And the parenting skill? It's not a skill. It's just there. Sometimes I used to wish it wasn't. And Lila? I've learned to embrace it, nurture it. But Lila's only come to that in the last couple of years, I think. She didn't want it. She pushed them away. Them? She tried to close her mind to the whole thing. Now she gives readings. I saw her ads in the paper. The price of independence. The need to earn a living. Do you know any of her clients? No. No one named Siobhan? No. I've got to say, Mrs. Sherman, you don't exactly fulfill my expectations of a psychic. Spiritualist. It's a big difference, Senior Sergeant. Psychics are more focused on the intuitive. I'm an intuit, yes, but I also communicate through my guide to people who have passed. Sarge. Excuse me. Just got off the phone to Matt. They're running tests on the blood. Can her mother tell us her blood type? I'll ask. Anything useful from the house, Prince? No, none of the glass on the table that have been wiped clean. Hopefully we'll get lucky on the broken one. Lucky's not going to be good enough. You have to find her. girl whose mother claimed to be psychic. Apparently she was pretty good too. <laughs> Why'd she let her daughter go out with you then? My point exactly. So how did Lila Sharman's mother know that she was missing then? Well, the newspapers and the junk mail in the mailbox may have been a bit of a clue. But why did she even come to the house? I mean, maybe if she's offering to help us, we should... No, the only help we need from her is to get her daughter's blood type. That's it. Yeah, which is O negative. She just called it in. Now she wants to get over to the house to see if she can pick up on anything. Well, maybe she should send a guide over. You yeah, have Karen tell the uniforms securing the scene I do not want the mother in there. Why not? Because it may be the primary crime scene of a murder. We will get to the bottom of this the way we usually do it. Anything from the lab? Uh, yeah, the plies used to cut the fencing wire could be any of the three or four makes. What about the body? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of interesting things. A small strawberry birthmark inside her left thigh, an old break of her left arm, and they say that she had pronounced bunions and callous toes. My well, pathology thinks she was a dancer. Ballet, maybe. Blood test from the broken glass is in too. It's O positive. So the blood at the house doesn't belong to Lila Sharman. What's the dead girl's blood type? O positive. Same as the blood on the glass. So maybe our missing psychic Lila killed her during a reading. Mm. We need the details of how long the blood's been in that house. We're still waiting for results, Sarge. Something else. I found an appointment book. There's a Siobhan in here, a regular. Every couple of months, then every couple of weeks after that. Surname, phone number? Oh, some of the clients have, not Siobhan, though. Just the Christian name. Oh, bummer. Not always meant to be easy, Jen. Hang on, I'll see if I can channel it. Whoa. No. Okay. 
Um, we need to positively identify this woman before we can get anywhere on this. Jennifer, I want you and Simon to go through any names on Lala Sharman's list that have contact numbers. Some of the clients may have known each other or known the dead girl or know where Lala Sharman may be. Sarge, what about Lila's mother? Oh, if they haven't spoken in three years, she's not going to be much help, is she? Matt Duncan, you focus on the deceased girl. Start looking at the dancer angle. Dance companies, ballet schools, ex-dancers often teach. Two daughters. Get on. Mm. Sorry to interrupt your class. <laughs> Frankly, I don't mind. I'm getting too impatient for five year olds. Now, you're looking for a Charlene. Siobhan. Oh, Siobhan. Siobhan who, you have a surname? Unfortunately, no. Shoulders, girls? A photograph? Not any we can show you, no. This is a homicide investigation. Oh, dear. She was a brunette, about five, six petite, probably mid-20s. It's not a common name. We think she was a dancer. You've tried the companies? Ah, uh, yes, our other colleagues are on that now. We're looking at teachers. You're our fifth ballet school. Well, you'll have to try a sixth, I'm afraid. I don't have anyone of that name teaching for me. And I can't think of anyone who does. Did you ever have any Siobhans that were pupils? Start young, dance, then teach? Well, let's see. The only Siobhan I can recall is, um... Uh... Oh, there's this one. How long ago was that photo taken? Not very long ago at all. Thank you for your time, Mayor. Oh, goodness! 1990, that long ago. Siobhan Drew. How do you know it's definitely her? The strawberry birthmark inside her thigh, Sarge, and the old break, left arm. We've got pathology running, dental comparisons for final confirmation, but it's her, all right? Yeah, we tracked down her old man of the US. We warned him that it could be her. He's flying over. He could be a couple of days, though. And we didn't push him. It's not like he can do an ID on what's left. Yeah, he emailed us this. Get an address? Yeah, we uh, spoke to a flatmate. She's on her way in. Anything useful? Yeah, bits. She says Siobhan had been going through some relationship stuff. Possessive boyfriend. Oh, there you go. Then suddenly she doesn't come home one night, rings and says she's going away for a bit. Sounds shaky. When was this? Just before she ended up in the bay. Did she say anything about this spiritualism stuff? Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you. Can you chase up a cassette player for us? Siobhan Drew swore by these readings, Sarge. Big time. Kept tapes of every session up until a couple of weeks ago. She gets angry, starts vetting. What about her? I her reader. She was absolutely furious with her. You know, what would you know? All this stuff is a load of crap. We've listened to the last eight tapes and noted some interesting bits. Yeah, that's if we can find them. Ancient craft, ancient technology. Relationship stuff, mainly. Generalisations. Yeah, it's easy to sell generalisations. Yeah, they can still be dangerous if you take them serious. Yep, great, thank you. Got an address for Tim White, the boyfriend. Let's hear some of these generalisations first, shall we? There, you've gone past. He's not right for you. Can you be more specific? I'm not sure. They feel he's too focused on you. You're almost an obsession. Unhealthy. That's what I'm getting. Well, then should I finish it with him? I can't give you that advice. Does she use names on these sessions? No, sometimes she says she's getting a letter. She mentions the letter T. Oh, that's useful. No, maybe more than you think. Her ex's name is Tim. There's more in between then. A couple of days ago. This. Wrong side. Side B. What do you mean, dangerous? Not me. They. They, they mean this one is not some knight in shining armour either. There are some things he's doing. I don't know what, but I'm still getting the letter T. They're trying to tell me about something big that's happening. What sort of thing? Something bad. Very bad. Wow. How specific is that? Whatever we might think, it could still be enough for her to have given Tim the elbow, and he's possessive enough. The yeah, problem is, the flatmate says that Siobhan broke up with Tim White two months ago. Well, that's one of the things we need to talk to him about. 
Fair enough. We also need to speak to Lila's mother again. We do? Jennifer's finished working on that appointment list. No one actually knew the dead girl, but at least four of them know about Lila's mother. She referred them. Partner said we'd probably find you here. You scared me. Can you get out of the car, please? This is Lila's. You were told not to go into the house. I didn't. I was just trying to get closer. Just trying to get some sense of what's happened. This is an old one of hers from home. She left the house before your partner arrived on the scene, did she? Yes. Terence has been on the scene, as you call it, for the last year. Are you sure? Well, you've not exactly been straight with us up until now. How's that? Well, you told us that you hadn't spoken to your daughter in about three years, but you referred clients to her. Yes, I did. And I asked them not to tell her I had. She's my daughter. I knew she was doing it tough. In her ads, she offered tarot. I don't do tarot. Sometimes I'd get phone calls, you know, inquiries, people interested in the cards, so I'd pass them on to her to help. It was the one thing I could do for her. What? What, you still think she's dead? I don't know. I should know. She's going to be hurt, I do know that. Burnt. Something. No, it isn't. It isn't Bull, he'll see. You need to believe me. You lost someone recently, didn't you? Can you let me go, please, miss? You didn't let her down. She, she brought it on herself. You don't need a picture to keep her close to your heart. She's always there anyway. They're gonna hurt my daughter. Please find her. Maybe we should have listened to her last week. Maybe if we had, Siobhan Drew would still be alive. That's crap. She didn't know anything and neither did her mother. I think Mrs. Sharman was talking about Claire back there. It's a party trick they do. That's all. They read you and then they pick up on things. Simon's right. All this life after stuff. It's just so much crap. I used to think sometimes I should try to get in touch with Mum. There might just be something there, you know. That's what I mean. They need people to believe. And then they work off that. The way I see it is, you're dead. You're dead. Claire, your mum. All the ones we put up here. Nothing wrong with asking the question, though, is there? White with a Y. Yeah. Just for the record. Why do we even need a record? What's this about? What did you do to your wrist, Mr. White? I cut myself at work. When a lathe, I'm a fitter and turner. Thought you were a dancer. I do dance classes. 
What's this about? It's about your girlfriend, Siobhan Drew. My ex-girlfriend, what about her? She's dead, Mr. White. What? Um, when? How? When did you last see her? Um, uh, a, a month, a month ago, three weeks, maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure. Why not? I, I'm just not sure. Okay. When did she become an ex-girlfriend? Just under two months ago. And you remember that? I remember that. Yes. How come? Because we'd been together for exactly 18 months. So why did you go and see her after you'd broken up? I didn't go and see her. I ran into her at class. I hadn't been going in case exactly that happened. And then I thought, screw it, it's my class too. So you ran into her and what happened? Nothing. I was a little bit late. Class had already started. I joined in. And? And afterwards I went over, said day. She cut me dead, took off. Did you know about the readings? What readings? Were you angry with her reader too? Don't, don't understand. Have you ever met this woman? No. Look, I haven't done anything. I love Siobhan. I want her to marry me. So you, you still love her? Yeah. Mm. In spite of the line she'd spun me, things moving too fast, me being too attentive. Well, that's true, isn't it? Uh, no, how can you be too attentive? Well, she felt smothered, didn't she? That's why she moved on, found somebody else. I don't know. Yes, you do. People saw what happened when you tried to talk to her after that class. You went after her when she left. There was a man waiting for her in a Maserati. Nice little convertible. Witnesses say that you argued with sports car guy. Your ex shouted at you. The guy pushed you over. And then they took off. She'd met somebody else, hadn't she? And you were jealous. How jealous? Can you describe that man for us? No, I can't. Try. <laughs> he... He wore sunglasses. He was older than me. And? I don't know. She told me to go away, leave them alone. He shoved me, they drove off. Your wrist. We can ask at your work. Yeah, right, it didn't hurt my wrist at work. I was looking at some photos of us. Uh, it made it worse. I couldn't stand it any longer and slashed my wrists. Okay. Look, I'd, I'd given up on her, but I still love her. The new boyfriend angle could work. One of the more recent tapes, Lila Sharman says he's not a knight in shining armor either. Maybe she found out something about this guy. Maybe Maserati guy's the dangerous one, the one into something bad. Yeah, and maybe her reading was way off. You'd better find out who this new player is, have you? Okay, so we start running through and checking Maserati owners, excluding women, uh, men over, say... 50? Witnesses at the dance class determined that the guy was in his mid-30s, so we can lose men under 25 as well. As if they can afford a car like that anyway. Oh, you'd be surprised. Especially if they're into bad things. Plenty of crooks drive flash cars. Want to run the list, Dunny? Duncan? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Well, why? What are you two lazy buggers going to be doing? I am off to the hospital to discuss nasty cuts. Checking Tim White with wise phone records. You think he's lying about finally giving up on her? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Simon. Ah, uh, Sarge, yeah. Uh, White's story kind of half checks out. It looked like a razor cut, but it could have been done with broken glass. Did they do bloods when he was in there? Yeah, he's O positive. So it still could be his blood at Lila Sharman's house. We keep him on the list. Get yourself back in there. White's phone records show no attempts to contact Siobhan Drew over the past few weeks, Sarge. That still does not eliminate him. His blood types are match. What about these others, the Maserati owners? The four of them fit the profile of the guy that witnesses saw Siobhan with. We can call in on them, element a surprise, or get them to come to us. OK. I want you to go back, check your notes on Lila Sharman's statement, see if there's anything that connects to one of these guys. Now, hang on a minute, Sarge. I thought you said we don't use psychics. Lola said she had a real sense of what was happening. Electrical stuff. That wasn't a witness statement. It was a freak out. And we're supposed to look at it again. It's your investigation. You know what 
people don't understand is why Wolfie is suddenly buying into all this psychic crap. Because this guy fits, he's a T, and he sells electrical goods. Well, maybe Wolfie just needs some answers. Yeah. Come on, we have to talk to this guy anyway. Please. What do you want? Ah, uh, you letting us in would be a good start. Yeah, he's my boss, but, uh, he isn't here. His car is. Let you drive it, does he? Uh, he went down the road for a coffee. Uh, you might find him there. Nah, we'll wait. I, I have to lock up. We're, we're closed. No, that's too bad. Let's hope he's not very long then. <clears throat> Do we have something to be worried about? No, mate. Not as far as I know. No, you're safe with us. We're policemen. Ah, uh, you want to buy one of those? No, thanks. I've got a street directory. What's through that door? The stock room. Oh, you want to look? Oh, you're inviting us, are you? No. You'll have to wait for my boss. Let's be grinding that coffee. Lee, we're supposed to be closed. Yeah, I was going to these gentlemen arrive. Please. Yeah. Right. I'm no coffee. I changed my mind. Trevor Smart. What can I do for you? You seen her? No. Should I? You sure? She's pretty, I'd remember. Can I see your pictures? Ready to show him. Show me. Her name's Siobhan Drew. She's 24. She's dead. It's a shame. Sorry, Colonel. You seen Aline? Nah. Nah, I haven't. Don't recognize her. What's through there? Ah, uh, you already asked me that. I told them. You want to look? Thanks. That was a question, not an invitation. You'd need a warrant, wouldn't you? You got one? No. No. Look, anyway. What's this? We use it for packing, binding cartons to pallets. You do it yourself? Well, we need to. Have to work hard to make a buck these days. You seem to do OK. Nice car. Everybody's allowed one indulgence. That's my business. Seen enough? Where does that go? Alley. Deliveries. Now, if it's OK, I've got to be somewhere else. We done? They both smell the cigars. You buying into Lila's vision too now? No, no, I'm not talking about what Lila said. I'm talking about the cigar burns in the pathology report. OK. OK, well, we've still got these other three guys to talk to. <laughs> Fits the bill. Of the three guys, one's gay, got about eight cars, collects, hardly ever drives. One's car is registered in his name, but it belongs to his mistress. And the other guy, well, he was so happily married, he almost made me puke. <laughs> ah, morning. Thank you. Sugared? Tea stirred clockwise. So you think this Travis Smart was out the back when you arrived? Yeah, he heard us talking to his mate, he took off and then he came back. Why would Travis Smart take off? Or well, maybe he was trying to get rid of something in, in the back, in the stock room. I know we've got nothing on this guy, but what about his offside? You ran through Pulse Merry Christmas. Lee Fat Long. Just one conviction, but he's been interviewed about four times. Twice on drugs-related matters, once in relation to stolen firearms, once on common assault. A conviction he did four months. What about his prints? Any matches in Lala Sharman's house? Uh, no, Sarge. You'd be too much of a pro to make that mistake, I reckon. We've got to push harder on Siobhan's ex. His blood type's a match, and he was hedging on his description of the new boyfriend, whether it's Travis Smart or not. Something is not kosher there. OK!
Already told you everything on her. We don't think it had, Mr. White. Lila Sharman had one brand new client in her appointment book the week she disappeared, a Mr. John Brown. It's original. You were Mr. Brown, weren't you, Mr. White? Is, is Siobhan, is she really there? Well, I have to know. Please, I don't know who's lying to me here. Okay, we need to talk about Lila Sharma. No. What? What about her? So you know the name then? She's disappeared. Did you have anything to do with that? Yeah, all right. Yes, I did. They wanted me to find out how much she knew. So hang on, you admit that you met with Lila Sharman? Yeah. And you're claiming that you were sent there to do that by somebody else? No, I was. They wanted me to pretend that I needed a reading. Who sent you? Travis. Smart. The man your mates visited yesterday. How did you know about that? Because I'd gone there, too. I went there because they still have Siobhan. But look, that's... It's why I went to see Lila Sharman, because Smart was going to hurt Siobhan if he... if I didn't. Why would he do that? Because Siobhan knew about some things, some plans that Smart had. He had to put them on hold until he found out how she knew about them. And the Sharman girl was involved in all of this? Yeah, well, she was the one that told Siobhan about them. What were those plans? I don't know. Are you sure about that? I don't know. Some deal he had going down. Mm. Siobhan told him the girl knew about it because she was psychic. Smart didn't believe that. Why would he? I'd done what he asked. He promised to let Siobhan go, but he, he didn't. I called him last night, said I was going to go to the cops. What was his response to that? He said that if I did, that Siobhan would be dead. I ran this morning when you banged on my door. So you did what he asked, you met with Lila Sharman? Just to find out how she had her information. And what happened? Did you find out? Mr White, if you did, then you had better tell us. I didn't find anything out. It is a motive for murder. I didn't find out. It all... It all went wrong. It started out like a reading thing, but when I tried to turn it to Siobhan, she... She turned from freak. How? Oh. Asking me what my real name was. Saying she was going to call the police. I tried to grab her. She smashed a glass, went for me. And? And she cut me. And I punched her. I knocked her over, stunned her. Then they came in and took her. You should have called her straight away. They would have killed Siobhan. She was already dead, Mr White. No, oh, Steve, I don't believe you. Why would they kill her? I, they did what they asked. She's dead. They killed her. They weighted her down and dropped her in the ocean. Take Simon to pick up Travis Smart. And leave that long? Both of them. You should have gone back there last night. Lila was still alive then. Oh, well, you're psychic too now, are you? No, it's logic. I mean, why else would Smart have pulled his disappearing act? He was hiding his hostage. He was probably getting rid of her body, Duncan. And if we'd have followed up at her right at the beginning, she wouldn't have been taken hostage in the first place. No, if we followed up on her, we'd have got a rocket from Wolfie for crossing the line. We don't deal with these people, remember? Hey, hey, hey. You guys can stand here and argue the toss, or we can go pick these blokes up and see if they've still got her. Yeah, let's go.
police, okay? <laughs> We're police. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Maybe my boss did, I didn't. Yeah, save it for the recording. Hey, Daddy. Just for the record, I think you did the right thing, not following up on the first statement. Either way, we got there in the end. The girl. Oh, help you. Jen's with her. Fine. We'll talk to this bloke, then I'll get over there. You find the girl's mother. I want her there for the daughter as soon as the doctors are done with her. Okay. You're not supposed to be in here. It's not a crime scene anymore. We found your daughter. She's been hurt, but she's alive. Ten of Swords. Triumph over adversity. We've taken her to the hospital. Can I see her? Soon. She'll need to make a statement first, and then you can see her. I expect that she'll need to be in there for a while to recover. Uh, I think I'll stay here for a bit. Look after the place for her. Let her clients know she'll be back. You know, there's nothing wrong with wanting answers. They shipped in a whole lot of pills from Indonesia. That was the bad thing that I was getting. We know that now. Our Asian friend decided to negotiate a deal. If you just take a seat, you Those people, <sighs> they thought Siobhan knew something and it was my fault. Why? He said, when he was hurting me, he said that she started asking questions. And that made them think that someone in their crew he called it their crew. Someone had been talking and he wanted to know who. When she finally told him that she heard it from me, that it was a psychic reading, that he lost it, he didn't believe it. Self-fulfilling prophecy. She created the dynamics. And he said, he used cling wrap on her to try and force her to tell the truth. <laughs> so, Smart confessed to you that he killed Siobhan Drew? No. Smart isn't the boss. Smart didn't torture her. Or me. All this psychic crap! I don't buy it. Tell me the truth. It is the truth. I've got half a million dollars worth of pills waiting to be collected. And I need to know if somebody's going to be waiting there to jump on my people when they get there. Who told you what was going on? I already told you. It was them. They told me. <laughs> me a lot when we were there where were you smart dragged me out the back i was already tied up and he shoved a gag in my mouth and threw me in a dumpster i thought i was going to suffocate i'm sorry we should have come back gave me time to work on the wire and then uh after you'd left they got me back out and Tim rang and I heard them planning on killing him because he'd called and he was in a panic. And they would have too. And then they finally decided that I had to be the one to go first. And Lee made Smart do it, but by then I'd managed to get free. <laughs> I meant to knock him out. I didn't mean to kill him. Excuse me. Your mother's here. 
Would you like to see it? Yes. That would be good. That would be great. Mr. Sharman? Look at the stuff they both came up with. It was pretty close to the mark. Go in, Phillips. You go solve this. Yes, the pain fades away. 